it's really important to start thinking about raising money long before you need it. And having those conversations early on will only help make your company better and you make your business plan stronger. You know, once you have an idea to start a company, you've probably thrown together a business plan. It might only be one page and you're asking yourself, is that enough? The best way to answer that question is to think about, can I raise money with this one page uh, business plan? Is it good enough for what I'm trying to do? If not, go back, iterate on your business plan until you think you could actually use it to raise money. The, the first thing you should do is put yourself in the position of an investor. And in today's climate, if you're an investor, you're probably stressed about where to put your money. You know, the stock market's at all time highs. You don't want to invest there. Real estate is, I mean, a lot of markets are genu generally accepted to be bubbles. You know, buying real estate, safest houses, that adage doesn't apply anymore. So investors are looking for a return, um, generally speaking. So that's, that, so investors are probably just as nervous or more nervous about the financial situation than you are. Um, so they're looking for something that might actually produce, you know, greater than 5% return. So that's the first thing. The second thing is there are all different types of investors from VC funds to uh, individuals. Um, of course, you have your classic friends, family and fools. Um, there are so many different classes of investors to reach out to that, I mean, you can start just about anywhere. Um, so start with your friends, family, fools. They're going to ask some crazy questions. Some of those questions won't be relevant. Some will be really helpful. Uh, you know, Google, you know, VC funds in your area. You can also do debt. So your local bank, I mean, go talk to your banker. Uh, there's, I mean, I would just encourage people to just start the conversation. Here's a great piece of advice. Every single investor is going to invest for a completely different reason. You know, we've talked to investors that have liked our company just based on where it was geographically. We've talked to investors that just love the product and they're not actually looking for a return. They just want to make sure that product remains in the marketplace. We've talked to investors that just like the management team and want to see them succeed, not because they, you know, they care particularly much about the product, but because maybe down the road they'll, you know, want our expertise. You'll have investors that will invest in you just because they want access to you so they can pick up the phone and call you and have you in their Rolodex. And so every conversation you have, including like the early ones when you're probably just not ready are really valuable and you'll learn a lot. You're, and you'll get challenged in different ways and this will only make your company and your business plan better and stronger. And you may realize that it, your business plan is a terrible idea and it's a good idea to find that out early on and start something else as opposed to just trundling along.